We have actually clocking, been clocking the objections. It's 14 minutes uh, lost because of the objections. One four. Un quart du temps a été perdu à cause des objections. Actually, so have we, and we have 22 objections, and it's uh, 14 minutes. Twenty-four minutes and twenty-seven seconds. L'accusation, vingt-quatre minutes et trente-sept secondes. Based on the result of our deliberation, we noticed there are several objections. For that reason, additional time might be granted to the co-prosecutor. And may we suggest that only 15 more minutes is given to you. So please uh, try to limit your questions to uh, this uh, time allowed and only ask Veillez relevant questions. Thank you. Qui vous est Thank you. Am I proceeding now or was there a break? I mean, to change the tape. I'm confused. Une pause. Je suis un petit peu perdu. President, you may proceed, the co prosecutor. Vous pouvez poursuivre, Monsieur le coprocureur. There's one more instruction on 2048, excuse me, E32048, and that appears in Kamai on page 00079090909, on English, the third page, and on French, 00611661. And it reads, respected Ankar, request to make a proposal to Ankar as follows. We in the top 10 cooperative base branch have examined and purged the enemies who held ranks after having received the instructions of the party. Mr. Witness, um, would you understand rank to mean officer based upon what was discussed during the study sessions that you attended? From second lieutenant up or first lieutenant up? Some the word uh, rank to my understanding, although Réponse. I am really unclear uh, on the Je definition, pas très sûr de la and définition. I have never sought a clarification from any expert on Je the term. Demandé de précision à des experts so la I won't confuse you by giving any unclear answer. Je ne pas Thank you. Que des I'll read you one more witness record interview, E35498 in Kamai. It's 0036-86-01. In French, 0041-65-24. And in English, 0038-44-00. This witness, Bantien, was asked if there were any arrests. Excuse me. Was any arrest of the 17 April people to be executed? And the answer was, first of all, people were asked about their personal working experiences. They were informed that they would go back and do the same job. People with working experience came to meet at the commune. The commune secretary was in charge. After collecting all those people, the commune secretary reported to the upper echelon. Then the upper echelon sent a truck to take them away. Those who came to pick the people were military officials, ranking from major lieutenants. 
And then he goes on to say that the people's hands were not tied. And he said, he was asked, were entire families taken? Answer, no, only the ranked people were taken. How many were taken away? Answer, I did not know the exact number, but it was as many as a truck could carry. I at that time did not know that they were brought to be killed. I thought they were brought to work at what they had been told. Um, I banned a student named Sem. In 1979, he was a trained policeman from getting on the truck because the upper echelon ordered to take only soldiers with rank. That was at least equivalent of a major lieutenant. He was asked, did you see those who had been taken away ever return? And said, I never saw them return. They disappeared forever. At that time, I was doubtful. They must have been taken to be killed at Angkor Che. Do you know that there was a prison at Angkor Che? And he answered, the only prison I knew was that at Tamon office. Sir, do you know about a prison at Tamon office? Monsieur, which was very near the mountain that you talked about this morning attending a meeting at. Phnom Trang, mountain. Allow me to respond to your question. The uh, quotation you made was from a document which I did Vous not have at my commune at the time. So I don't want to give you any unclear answer for that reason. I decline to respond uh, to this question, although I might add that if there was any killing site in District 106, which is currently on Gautier, is out of my knowledge, Je ne sais pas y avait un site and it's beyond uh, my understanding. And as I Je said, my authority was limited to administering the people in my commune, only my commune. De ma commune seulement. And as for trail uh, mountain meeting, I only attended the meeting the once the there after the conclusion of the war. And the sound called everyone, that is, every cadre from et various districts, districts, including on Côte, that is 106, 107, to attend the, the meeting. And that is my response. Voilà and you dire. said that at that meeting, Question. soldiers, Lano soldiers or officers, réunion, were invited. This meeting where you said the statement was made that the ranked officers, lieutenants to colonels, would be not harmed. The soldiers were there. They were told to come to that meeting. Isn't that correct? What you said in terms of the theory and the policy, Réponse. that is correct. But I believe it is also dependent Ce on the implementers, and I cannot say on their behalf. For my part, I only knew what happened in my commune and what I did with the people in my commune. If they make minor mistakes, commune, it would be si my authority to erreurs, educate moi them de les within my level and not to à pass such information to the upper level. Thank you, sir. But that's uh, not my question. We're very getting close to the end. But what you said is interesting. You don't know about the implementation. I understand that. You don't know what happened to these people. But you do know, you told us this morning, isn't it correct, that soldiers and officers were invited to that meeting to identify and come there, to, to gather there. Isn't that correct? Mr. 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 President, I'm not quite sure if I'm following. It seems that the prosecution is mixing things up. The witness spoke about a meeting uh, at the mountainside in which CPK cadres were invited, military from the CPK. Not, a, not uh, Lon no officers or military. I don't think uh, that was ever suggested or said by this witness. 
President, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, please uh, try to reorganize your question. Your Honor, just for your information, I recall, and this is my recollection, that the word used was translated as soldiers. And this is a very important point that I think it might be worth taking a moment to make. Sir, in Khmer, the word for soldier, Tehin, when someone says soldier, at that time, during the Khmer Rouge period, it was referring to Law Nol. Because when they were talking about military for the Khmer Rouge, you would call them Twap or Yotea. Is that correct? Allow me to respond. For the meeting at Trail Mountain, only soldiers on the Khmer side, or the Khmer soldiers were invited to attend. And that was for a wider dissemination of their message, so that they would be happy to receive such news, since they might have relatives uh, lived in Phnom Penh and who might uh, return to their respective villages. So at the meeting, there was an attempt to encourage the, so the officers to come forward and identify themselves. Is that right? Witness did not say this, Mr. Prosecutor. He said that Khmer Rouge uh, uh, soldiers were present. Inferences we can make uh, from what the witness said, but he did not say that there was an encouragement policy, not, to, not according to my notes. Il n'a pas dit ce que vous avez dit d'après mes notes. Sir, the documents that I showed you and the Le witness statements have talked about a part a the implementation of searching for, arresting, and purging soldiers or officers. Do you have any knowledge about whether that policy was implemented, whether in fact the policy of the, that was the policy of Tamok and the upper echelon or not, or you don't know? I don't fully get your question. However, I believe my response so far is more than sufficient for you to make any inference. Sir, did you ever have occasion to see the Khmer Rouge use a tactic to deceive people by asking them to identify themselves, saying things like they would be brought to see the king, they would be brought back to their old jobs, they would be taken for further training in order to have people identify themselves who then would be arrested. Did you ever witness that tactic? No, I did not uh, receive any instruction nor seen such tactics I can add that the policies of the DK was limited to the chains of command. For example, the authority at the provincial level was more senior and different than that of the district level. But we never received uh, such uh, tactics or order. And we all adhere to the principle of uh, confidentiality. And everybody kept their mouth shut uh, because we were afraid Les that if uh, secrecy was revealed, then there might be si chaos uh, at a certain place. And allow me to stress again, such tactics or instructions were never relayed uh, to, to me or to uh, my uh, commune.
ne sont jamais parvenus au niveau de ma and commune. J'espère que les choses sont bien claires pour tout le monde. Question. Mesdames et messieurs les juges, de combien de temps supplémentaire no, si je peux entamer un nouveau sujet Preston, ou pas Monsieur le Président, il vous reste trois minutes, Monsieur le Coprocureur. In that case, Mr. Witness, I'm down to my last question or two. Sir, you've said you've been to Krang Tachan and you've seen the skulls. There are also, sir, are lists of people who disappeared from Krang or disappeared from Krang Tachan from S21. Many of them have ranks from the Lon Nol era. Do you have any explanation? of why they were killed. Vous nous expliquer pourquoi ces personnes ont été exécutées? From 1971 to 1975, Entre 1971 I never went to Kantachan area. And between 1976 to 1977, I was not in that area as well. And only. During the 80s or the 90s, I returned when there was a ritual ceremony where monks were invited to sermon, and I attended the ceremony and I saw skeleton remains and skulls of those who died. And that is my response to your question. Sir, what was to happen, according to you, this policy that you said you heard Som and Mok mention, what was to happen to generals, to the many generals of the Lan Nol regime? I didn't follow the uh, event uh, fully, so Je I cannot give you any uh, conclusion which I am unsure of. Je ne peux donc pas tirer de bien when you heard Q Sampan on the radio talking about Long Bore and Sin Matak and other seven individuals that were targeted. Um, that was, was that before or after the fall of Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975? During the time the radio was scarce, and the broadcast was before the entire country was uh, liberated. Les we heard about uh, the peace uh, negotiation. My question, and because my time is short, I just want to cut you off, I'm sorry. So in that radio broadcast, before the end of the fighting, was Q Sampan encouraging soldiers to defect those who were below, other than the seven individuals named? to come over to the Khmer Rouge side, and to the king's side at that time. From what I Played uh, before the uh, liberation. Que son pan s'est exprimé avant la libération. And uh, soldiers were urged on Et by the mob to the attack mob and take control of uh, Phnom Penh. Prendre le contrôle de Phnom Penh. A mass meeting was held at the provincial uh, level at Osarai. And it was held in the forest at night time. The mob urged the soldiers to to urge on and uh, fight and attack the Phnom Penh to seize the control. Yeah. 
and kills upon speed was made prior to that. Thank you. You didn't answer my question, but I'm going to move on to one last one because of time. Did you hear Kyusampan? what words he used to describe Lon Nol soldiers. Did you hear, ever hear, for example, the word mercenaries? Uh, <coughs> Allow me to respond to your Pardon? question. At that time, uh, Kirsten Pond did not mention anything about uh, missionaries. His message was, uh, his appeal to everyone, to all walks of life, including ordinary people, uh, patients, students, intellectuals throughout the country, to join the Liberation Front of a and the front will pardon everyone except the seven individuals, namely Lonel, Sermenta, Sengotang, etc. And they will be prosecuted and not everyone else. And that's what I heard while I was working at the dam website. So, Mr. Witness, if the policy was to pardon Donc, soldiers si and officers. Is that consistent with the taking of biographies and getting people to identify their biographies and ranks? Was there any need, if everyone was pardoned, to take biographies and identify who was a former law and soldier or officer? Mr. President, I object to this question. It's a false contradiction because everybody was um, um, instructed to give his or her biography, including CPK cadres. Everybody. So there's no contradiction in the sense that only former law and officials were to give uh, their biographies. Everybody had to do that. Uh, Le President, Mr. Co-Prosecutor, Monsieur le Procureur, you went beyond the time allowed. How many more questions do you have? Or you have run out of questions now? Your Honor, I, I, on this topic, I, sujet, I can finish. Uh, certainly there's more to talk to this witness about. I've finished more or less with this topic, and this is a point I could stop. President, the chamber would like to take a 20-minute break, La and uh, if we resume uh, after the time, after the short break. Merci.